recognizes for the purposes of an opening statement for three minutes the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Stearns. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and let me commend you for having this hearing and, of course, also to commend the staff on both sides of the aisle for all the work they did, of course, during the holidays when lots of the members were back uh, enjoying the Christmas holidays. Um, the hearings, of course, today are focusing on destruction of documents, an allegation that will carry serious implications should deliberate wrongdoing be discovered. I think I'm not alone. I think all my colleagues would agree uh, that a person will fare better in cooperating with this subcommittee and the full committee's investigation as opposed to subverting our efforts. Uh, we need to have answers for investors, and we need to develop transparency on this question of the auditing of uh, large corporations. Florida State Pension Fund incurred a loss to the tune of $300 million. Individual constituents have called me to render their complaints at losing their retirement saving from their 401k counts. And I promised, as my colleagues on both sides have, to do everything possible to get to the bottom of this matter and prevent a reoccurrence. So I look forward to the testimony of our witnesses. Uh, it is uh, my understanding that a memo from February 2001 detailed Anderson's concern with Enron and whether that company's dealing would harm Anderson's reputation. I think I can say that Anderson's now has wounded its own reputation. It's self-inflicted. Uh, so if they're here today, it's their own fault. Mr. David Duncan, the former Anderson partner in charge, is alleged to have ordered the expedited destruction of Enron-related documents. One of our witnesses, a counsel for uh, Arthur Anderson, Ms. Temple, prior to the document destruction, emailed a, quote, reminder, end quote, of Anderson's document retention policy. So is Mr. Duncan being made a scapegoat here this morning? Uh, for it seems maybe an explicit order was given to destroy document, yet backsides were covered through the, quote, reminder email on document retention. This is kind of like the code word, the code red uh, instruction that uh, uh, Colonel Jessup used in A Few Good Men, that movie, as you'll remember. When he issued the code red, it was a term that did not appear in any manual or standard operating procedure, yet carried specific actions once it was given. So, Mr. Chairman, I think uh, this hearing should give us an opportunity to get to the bottom of this destruction of documents and I might say the uh, chairman of our full committee has also talked about transparency in auditing procedures. Uh, I'd like to note that uh, I chair the uh, committee that has jurisdiction over the Financial Accounting Standards Board. And I would like to know personally if our accounting standards are responsive to today's challenge posed by the increasingly complex business and financial transactions of companies like Enron. Are there other companies doing the same procedure with these limited partnerships, sheltering of the debt? So we need to look at these standards and assure our constituents and the American public that there's transparency and honesty dealing with these accounting procedures. So again, I commend you and the full chairman and the staff for the work you are doing. Chair, sure, thanks. The gentleman from Vice President of Enron, a former employee of Arthur Anderson, she wrote a memo to the president, Kenneth Lay, of Enron, in which she said she was incredibly nervous that we will implode in a wave of accounting scandals. Did you know of this memo before October 23rd, just yes or no? To the best of my recollection, I don't just yes or recall no. seeing a letter Is that a no? Watkins. So you're saying, no, you did not know about Sharon Watkins' letter on October 23rd. You knew nothing about it. Is that your answer, that no? I was aware that she had made allegations. I don't recall if I saw a document. So you're saying, yes, you knew of her allegations. Is that correct? I was informed that she had made allegations, yes. I don't recall so if I saw a document. So the answer to my question is, yes, you knew about it. Is that correct? Yes, you knew about Sharon Watkins. I was aware that Watkins. she had made allegations. Okay. I don't recall if I saw the document. Okay, now. On October 15, Vincent and Elkins was hired to look at this memo, and they indicated that there is serious risk of adverse publicity and litigation. Did you know about the Vincent and Elkins final conclusions before, I mean, before October 23rd, yes or no? Did you know about this study before October 23rd? 
Yes, I believe I received okay, a copy yes. of that report before okay. October So you knew about Sharon Watkins, you knew about this one. Okay, the questions I have, I'd like you to answer just yes or no, relative to October 23rd, did you know that Enron had taken $1 billion charge due to an accounting error on the Raptors transaction? Yes or no? October 23rd. By October 23rd, did you know that Enron had taken a billion dollar charge due to an accounting error on the Raptor transaction? To the best of my recollection, I don't, I knew that they had taken charges, but I did not. That's a yes. Know about a billion dollar charge at that time. You knew that they had, okay. <coughs> Second, that the SEC had begun an informal inquiry into Enron related to party transaction. Did you know about the SEC's uh, had begun an informal inquiry before October 23rd? By October 23rd, I knew that, yeah. Yes, okay. That your own Houston and Chicago offices were disagreeing about the proper accounting and what, in fact, Anderson had signed off on with respect to one series of Enron transactions. Yes or no? Yes. That a class action lawsuit had been filed against Enron with respect to these transactions as well as other shareholder suits. Yes or no? To the best of my recollection, I recall an announcement on the 23rd of a class action shareholder so lawsuit yes. against Enron, yes. That Anderson was assisting Enron in its response to the SEC. Did you know that? Yes, on October 23rd, I have notes of a call w with uh, the engagement partner and senior management where the engagement partner reported to us that so that's the a team yes. was assisting. So yes. yes, okay. In light of your, your comments and your retention policy uh, uh, statements earlier, why did you wait until the 9th of November to tell the Enron audit team to stop destroying documents in light of all these yeses you said earlier? On October 23rd, according to my notes, Mr. Duncan reported to us that AA was trying to gather all documents regarding I interrupt you, Ms. from Temple. around the, the, the world. The question is, based upon all this prior information, Sharon Watkins, the Vincent Elkins, study, all the previous things. You knew about the Raptor write-offs. You said, oh, I didn't know a billion dollars, but I knew about the Raptor transaction. You knew that the SEC had started an inquiry. Based upon all that, why did you wait till November 9th to, to tell the Enron audit team? According to my notes on October 23rd, Mr. Duncan assured us that the team was trying to gather all documents. I don't think you're answering the question. And all do, uh, what, let me ask you this. What did you believe that Mr. Duncan's representation now, why did you believe that Mr. Duncan's representation that he was gathering the relevant documentation on these transactions, which clearly, for purposes of internal review as to the substance and completeness of the audit trail, meant that he was also gathering up everyone else's notes, emails, voicemails, drafts, and other non-work paper documents for purposes of preservation for litigation? Was that your job? Was that his job, or was that your job? The engagement partner's primary responsibility for document retention, and yeah. he assured us, according to my notes, that they were gathering all documents regarding transactions from around the world. That was assurance that the documents were being gathered and preserved. Don't, don't you think uh, Mr. Duncan was gathering work papers? According to my notes, he said all documents. 